Tinubu deserves 200% increase. Federal government replies Peter Obi. Others opposing salary increase for politicians. Really? <laughs> the recent decision by the Revenue, Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Physical Commission, RMAFC, to grant a 114% salary inc increment to President Bola Tinubu. Vice President Kasim Shetima, lawmakers and judiciary staff has ignited a wave of public outrage in Nigeria. Many Nigerians are questioning the timing, the timing and the necessity of such an increase, especially in the face of economic hardships experienced by ordinary citizens. Hassan Mohamed Husman, a federal commissioner of the RMAFC, attempted to shed, to shed light on the decision during an interview with Arise TV. He explained that the commission had conducted public hearings and consultations with various stakeholders, including the government and private sector, through these engagements. The commission arrived at a, a calculation that suggested a salary increment of over 200% was justifiable. However, taking into account prevailing economic realities, they settled at a 114% increment. Husma further justified the increment by highlighting the fact that Salaries for political, judiciary, and public office holders had not been reviewed for 15 years. The intention behind the increase, according to the RMAFC, was to bring the new remission in line with current economic conditions. He stated, we conducted public hearings. He visited all geopolitical zones and consulted with stakeholders, including the government and private sector. We listened and gathered opinions on the proposed increment during these years. The subjective indicator, the public hearing, and the objective indicator, the consumer, the price index, we are combined at aggravated the total increase reached over 200%. Therefore, considering the economic situation in the country, we combined both indicators and reached a conclusion of 114%. This explanation comes after the proposed salary increment draws sharp criticism from the public Nigerians are particularly frustrated with President Bola Tinubu, who recently called for sacrifice from Nigerians in his Democracy Day speech, but now stands to benefit from a significant pay uh, uh, rise. This resentment is further fueled by the abstract removal of first subsidies without adequate provision of palliatives for the citizens. One of the prominent voices opposing the salary increment is Mr. Peter Obi, the former governor of Anambra State and a candidate in the 2023 presidential election. Obi expressed his disappointment and concern over the decision, emphasizing that the timing was inappropriate given the, the economic hardship faced by the average Nigerian. He pointed out that poverty rates in the country were alarmingly high, with over 130 million Nigerians living in privileged conditions. Obi also highlighted the recent government reforms that have increased the cost of living, making it even more challenging for ordinary citizens to make ends meet. In light of these circumstances, it called for 
a, a reversal of the proposed salary increment and urge leaders and public office uh, orders to prioritize reducing the cost of governance and addressing the challenges faced by the Nigerian people. Quoting Shakespeare's Julius Caesar will be emphasized the need for leaders to prioritize the welfare of the masses and those in, in lower social economic strata. He urged the leaders should not forget that their primary responsibility is to save the people, especially during time of economic hardship. I think there is a wise decision in this. Maybe president might use it as a trap for most of them because majority of them love stealing Nigerian sweat since he has increased their salary. Whoever found guilty of corruption will be dealt with, although there is need for increment for common people as well, whether they increase politician's salary or they not increase them. Someone just dropped that one. These people, when they thief, they still they thief. These people, they don't even touch their salary. They have plenty, plenty allowances. You understand? Common man is out there suffering. For goodness sake, how much is civil servants pay? How much are these people, you know, uh, uh, taking home? This is really very, is, is, I don't, I don't, I don't just want to talk because he's, he's making me, you know, upset. I don't just want to get upset. I don't just want to get upset. Nigerians are going through a lot. Politicians are living in Nigeria like landlords. Why common man out there is now tenant? They don't turn to lords because you are opportune to be there. You can't turn yourself to something else. Nigerians are really going through a lot. At this time, someone is suggesting about increments of president salary, lawmaker salary. All these people, all the plenty, plenty allowances when they get self for three years, they never finish them. Their salary, they never touch them. The ones when they thief, they one side. Nigerians they there they suffer. Now when they talk say Nigerians made them make sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice are you people making? Let me leave it here for you guys. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have